Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. So welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to multiply in Excel by using the multiplication formula and also how to copy or replicate formulas into other cells automatically. So for today's lesson, I'm using this worksheet or this file. It is called a lesson for multiplication formula and replicate formulas. And as usual, you can get a copy of this file by clicking on the link I have left for you down below in the description box. Click on the link and this will take you directly to lesson four on my website where you can download a copy of this exact same file. And I do recommend you downloading this for those of you that have completed the previous lessons, in particular lesson number three, because I have made some changes um, in comparison to lesson number three. So please do download this file to complete today's lesson. Okay, so let's go ahead straight away and look at today's question. The question is asking us to work out the revenue for the quad bike safari trip by using a multiplication formula and then it is asking us to replicate this formula to populate automatically into the revenue column for all other trips so let's go ahead and make a start so here is the revenue column so we need to work out the revenue for all these trips but firstly we need to work out the quad bike safari trip and how much revenue was made by selling this trip. So if you have not completed lesson three and this is your first lesson completing with myself, then basically this spreadsheet is showing the popular day trips in Marmaris, Turkey and some of the popular trips, the price per person and on a monthly basis from April all the way to September, how many was actually sold. And then we worked out the total sales that was made for each one of these trips by adding up all the monthly sales from April to September. So for today's lesson, we need to work out the revenue that was made. So for the first row, row number four, which is representing the quad bike safari, we need to work out the revenue that was made for that particular trip. So it is a multiplication formula because if you have a look at this spreadsheet, what we have to do is multiply the total sales figure by the price per person. So it is actually as simple as that. So let's see how this works out for yourself. We always start any calculation, whether it's a formula or a function with the equal sign once we've got the equal sign in there, now I can either type in the cell reference for the total sales multiplied by the price per person, or I can use my mouse and click on the cell directly, which I personally prefer. So I'm going to click on total sales. And then for the multiplication symbols, uh, for the symbol in Excel, now we don't have an X um, as a symbol on the keyboard, therefore, um, in Microsoft for, or for Microsoft Excel, we use the star or the asterisk, um, which is located towards the top of your keyboard. So hold down shift and press the asterisk to get your, or sometimes we call this, the, you know, call this the star, as some of you may be more, um, more popular with or more familiar with. Once you've got the star in, then we need to click on the price per person cell for the quad bike safari. So I'm just going to click on there and we get B4. So in total, we've got equals I4 multiplied by B4. Now, please do keep an eye on the formula bar because when I press enter now, I will get the answer in this cell. However, remember the formula bar, which I introduced to you in level uh, in level Lesson one, the formula bar will always display what you have actually typed in the cell. So please keep an eye on the formula bar when I press enter. 
there we go so there's enter this is how much your revenue was made ten thousand eight hundred and seventy five pounds but if you look in the formula bar the formula bar is still displaying the actual multiplication formula which i have typed in okay so that's the first part of today's lesson and also the question the second question was asking us now to replicate or copy the copy this formula into the other cells to work out the revenue for every single other trip now to replicate a formula into other cells there is a couple of ways you can do this and today i'm going to show you both ways the very first way is a manual way which you kind of move well you don't kind of you actually have to be spot on with this everybody if you move your mouse directly over that tiny little square you can see on the bottom right um, of this cell till your cursor actually changes to this very solid black square um, sorry cross um, you then click and you can drag all the way down into the other cells and it will put all the multiplication answers into those cells automatically just like so again if you wanted to confirm the answer all you have to do is click in each cell and you can see in the formula bar it is um, using the correct cell references of so for example for this particular one you can see it is i Five, which is this cell multiplied by B5 which is this cell so each one does relatively fill in every single correct cell references to work out in the multiplication formula anyway this is one way of replicating the formulas into the other cells however i'm going to show you a second method which is even better so i'm just going to delete these cells now the second method all you have to do is hover your mouse over this tiny little square you can see in the bottom just like before but this time you don't click and drag what you do is you simply double click on this tiny square and it will automatically fill in every single answer till it actually hits a blank row underneath it which means there is nothing else to populate into that cell for so that's an amazing, uh, fantastic tip for you to take away from today's lesson simply by just double clicking over that tiny square. But you have to be very careful and make sure that you do place your mouse directly over that square until you see this solid cross. If you see this particular one, it's not going to work. Or if you see even this particular one, it's not going to work. There, This is the one that you need very precisely so please make sure this is what you get and to be honest you do need steady hands for this and if you cannot do this what I'm going to do is show you another third method so it is your lucky day I guess I'm giving you a bonus here to be honest I'm showing you a third method what you can do if you can't and you don't have steady hands and you cannot place your mouse directly over that square what you can do is simply highlight the remaining cells where your answer needs to go into or replicated into you then can use a keyboard shortcut which is simply holding down the control key and pressing the letter D for Delta on the keyboard and it will automatically also populate into the other cells so there you go you've got a few options there to choose from and uh, stick to the one that you fancy and is the most easiest for you I'm going to do another quick demonstration for you but this time like within the last in the last lesson we worked out the total sales for each one of these trips that were sold so I'm going to delete these cells there and simply replicate this function into the remaining one by using the double click of this fill handle so I'm just going to very precisely double click there and it will automatically fill in the rest of the uh, functions for the remaining total sales for all the trips 
So again, I do recommend you practice. Um, you can practice using the revenue column. You can also practice using the total sales column to replicate the formulas into the other cells. This will give you again ample practice to do. And finally, one more thing I just want to show you and kind of remind you as well that in Microsoft Excel, when we use calculations, whether it's a formula or a function, remember we always use cell references. So for example, for this particular revenue for the quad bike safari, I used I4 multiplied by B4 instead of using 435 multiplied by 25, simply because if we use cell references, every calculation or the cell references that we have have used for there will remain to be linked or our relationship is always maintained for example if I was to delete this value in this cell just here you should see a change take place in this cell just there so let's have a look there you go. This one goes to zero simply because now Excel recognizes that in I in I4 there is nothing in there. So if you do 25 multiplied by zero, you always get a zero. Therefore, you've got a zero there. So I'm just going to click on undo just to bring this back. And when I do, this will change accordingly. Let's have a look. There you go. So 435 came back and therefore now it knows that it has to do I4 and now inside I4 there is 435. So again automatically it does 435 multiplied by 25 simply because I am using the cell references. So please do make a note of that the importance of using cell references when we are doing formulas or functions. And this brings us to the end of today's lesson. So again, please do not forget to practice everything you learn from my lesson. And also don't forget to like and share with your friends and family so they can benefit as well. And please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And look after yourself and I shall see you over in the next lesson. So goodbye for now.